Well, Coach, listen, four games in, and I, I looked at the numbers, and they're all close ball games. Talk a little bit about how your season has begun so far. You're, I mean, you described it well. They are close ball games. I mean, every game's been within 10 points, whether, you know, we've won one, lost three. Uh, the, the tough one was that we just lost our first conference game to Union County here on our home floor. We lost 46-43, and we had the opportunities. But I'm very hopeful because, you know, as much as you want to start off strong, you want to, you know, be winning every time, every game. However, we recognize the big picture, and that's the state tournament, and that's what our eyes are set on. We have a lot of season goals and different things that we're going to, work on and try to get to but the big picture is that it matters come you know sectional time and that's where our sites are focused and the reality is half of our team are freshmen right now um, and, and that's for our program so when half your program's freshmen it's going to take time there's a little bit of learning involved there's some growing pains but I mean we have a really bright future ahead of us right now and the girls are are ready for that and they're ready to start closing some gains and getting some more wins with that you know coach I think if you look back to last year your first year of the program, you have to change the culture, you have to change everything, and it does take time, and you understand that. Players kind of understand that too now, don't they? They do, and so here I am in year three. Um, my first year we had no seniors. We had seven varsity kids, uh, one of which had really ever played varsity before. So for us to be where we are now in year three, we're very, very proud of that. And the girls that have been in the program, they are, at, I mean, all the credit to them because they've stuck through it, through the tough times, and now I want to see success for them in all of their effort. You know, in that first year, I don't think really counts too much because you, you're you so busy just trying to get everything together that it does, doesn't really matter that much just trying to put it all together, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, and that's most people at least understood that. It's something that usually if you take over a program, they were most of the time in a pretty rough spot um, versus, you know, unless someone retires and you're handed something, you know, really nicely packaged for you. But we just had low numbers. When you go from, you know, 13 kids in a program, you're playing seven varsity, six JV, everyone's getting a lot of experience which has helped us in the long run but yeah that first year was really tough for us you know we only won two games and so that mentally takes a lot on you but here we are year three and all of these kids are mentally tougher you know they they've all gotten a lot of game experience because of those low numbers and it's really paid off well you can see that already as you look at your games this year and when you go from losing games in, in the first couple of years, now you're competitive. That's exactly what you're looking for in that step toward where you want the program to be. Yeah, exactly. And we're just really excited to play more and get more opportunities as we move forward. I'm really excited. We have uh, really great leadership from our seniors. We have Olivia Harris, Olivia Harris, Maddie Clay, and Casey Andrews. And those three kids have really taken upon themselves to show these underclassmen, this is what off season is. It's not that exciting. It's really grueling. It's really hard. But it pays off because this is what we want for our season. And they're trying to instill these values into these younger kids coming into the program. And it's just paying off huge for us. Isn't it, isn't it fun when you go into a gym? now and nobody can take you lightly they say listen northeastern's headed in the right direction oh my gosh yeah it's really nice to not be uh, the pushover always be considered the underdog you know now people are taking it serious and you know I have coaches talking to me and they're like hey we saw you on film hey uh, can I get this film what is it that you did wow your defensive intensity and so to hear those remarks has been you know really rewarding because you know it's other people are seeing what we're doing and we're trying to kind of create some confidence because that's something we haven't had I mean when you win two games you know two years ago you win four games last year even though we ended in a great spot we we haven't had that confidence so we told the girls we're like hey our theme this year is believe the hype believe that something's coming believe that we're putting the pieces together and that we're going to make some noise and uh, you know cause some people to turn their heads and look to try to see what we're doing what do you like about this team the most right now Ooh, that's tough. I like a lot of things. Um, I think the number one thing I like is that they are buying into what we're doing, that they truly are becoming a team. They are doing the things that kind of are what I like to think of as the intangibles. They're hanging out together outside of basketball. They're creating opportunities to spend time with each other, to build chemistry, because they recognize the more chemistry they have off the court, the more they're going to have on the court. Uh, we do a program called Big Sis, Little Sis, uh, where they, an underclassman and upperclassman are kind of paired together, and they kind of give each other some motivational things come day, game day it could be anything from a Gatorade to a quote to a funny picture but they've really just embraced that and they love that they have that relationship with one another and I think that is what's going to lead to bigger success down the road for us.
Is it a fun group to be around? Because I know coaching sometimes can be really stressful. Are they fun to be around? Oh my gosh, yes. They are, they're a blast to be around. And what I'm really enjoying with them is that they know when to turn it on, when to turn it off. Because I have a sense of humor, and so I'll throw a joke in right away. And yeah, it's okay to laugh, but we can't keep going. we got to bring it back. And, and they've actually created a really good balance of that. But believe me, they have a lot of fun whenever they can, uh, when we're not on the court anyways. You, you still have I mean, a lot of basketball to be played, and there's some pretty tough games in there. And I know you're looking forward to see how your team reacts against some very good basketball teams. Definitely. I mean, we have another conference game tomorrow night against Union City. And, uh, you know, so we're looking forward to competing against another conference team. And hopefully we can come out with a, be a better outcome than last time. And then right after that, we have Monroe Central, which is a great, great team. Uh, I mean, they are something to – they're a force to be reckoned with. So we know that's going to be a good experience for us. And the reality is that every game is making us better. And that's what we're looking towards is what can we do. I mean, we've really gotten into stats this year. That's something that we haven't really done a lot in the past. The girls are looking at the stats and they're like, oh, coach, you know, our, our rebounding percentage is improving based on opportunities. I'm like, yes, like, well, okay, well, let's look at the positives. Let's talk about things. And so that's really helping that. They're really engaged in what's going on. But we do, we have um, some big games ahead of us. But again, all of our focus is on where we're headed and where we're going to end up come January.